okay guys welcome back so let's kind of um do uh final sculpted details on this so on a on this, let's turn this back on turn this back on I hold out and select this guy and reduce let me see need to get this to fit back into the shape uh, maybe I'll just take this down with my move to increase my bro size a bit just make this kind of touch the edge just making some adjustment to this okay just go around and fixing this around this Okay. Take down my bro size. Get this to match. Increase the bro size a bit more. Try and get this right. Almost done. Yeah, that should be about right. F. I think that's much better. Okay, that's fine. So taking this down again. I'll select this guy. Okay, let me select these guys. Hold out and select these guys. Not selecting that for me. Let me take this down. Let me start with this. So let me get my reference image in the, on the same spot. And get more space for this. okay so now we need to definitely divide this we want more to be fine then we we'll start adding some sculpted okay yeah start with my my standard brush adding some details on this okay undo I need to turn this I need to turn this off. Turn off my put this back to dots. That's fine. Now I can start working on this. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Use my dem standard to cut in, cut in an edge in there. Yeah, you just, just, you just to have fun, just have fun playing, just to have fun playing with this. 
Okay. Use your smooth brush to smooth that back in. Them standard, you can cut in. With them standard, I can hold out. Holding notes my them standard you should have something like this. Dig into it. My standard brush. Nothing too fancy. Just trying to get something that looks like a folded cloth in there. Uh, I'll see me to I will increase the I'll increase my I'll increase the poly counts later on. First of all, let me get something in here. There's something in here that would work just fine. So I'm I'm, I'm I'm only using my standard and some standard brush and my dem standard to kind of carve in those four details in here. Let me have something that goes across like this, like this. My damn standard, use the brush size a bit more. Adding something thin, something like this. Okay. Yeah, I like the way this is turning out. It's fine. Okay. Something thin in here. Them standard, I can cut something in here. Just going across the model and then fixing things. Now I hold, hold, hold out on my them standard. Trying to add something in there. Going back to my standard brush. Them standard. Okay, that serves about right. Now, I'm going to the next piece, kind of do the same. Build. I'm just building, building this first. Then later I can start adding the. So I my now I can use my dem standard and go to the edge of what I've laid out and begin to add some cuts in there. Kind of deep, deep cuts. Because as you can see, it's like it's like a very old cloth which has over time kind of gotten thinner. So that's why I'm trying to add some really deep cuts on those edges. I'm trying to make this deep. So we make something that has a kind of thin, a thin layer to it. We don't do that. We do this now. I, I, my lazy mouse is turned on. That's why as you can see. Give me some more, some kind of accuracy to my strokes. So I can follow the parts a bit more accurately. I 
Okay. When I when I smooth this, you see the details popping out a bit more. So I've been kind of adding some deep deep some deep cuts into this. So now I can keep building this up. So let me let me add one that goes like so. Okay, just to play around with this and figure out what works best for you. Okay, and something so slightly in there. So with my damn standard, I can begin to dig in digging into this okay going back to my standard brush With my damn standard, <laughs> holding out. Okay, that's fine. I can see some kind of build up at the bottom. Let's see if we can create something similar to that. I'll use my clay brush. Let's see, I can build something and then drag that down. Mm, I don't think so. So I need to use my move my move brush to get these guys closer to themselves. Should be kind of closer at the bottom. Okay. Maybe I can push something out like so. And let me let me quickly 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 save this. Do a save in here quickly. See we can now debut. divide my let me smooth this smooth those guys my standard brush take down the brush size to add some details in here okay okay my damn standard coming into court in
if that thing look to this make this kind of sharp adding some more sharpness to okay don't go I don't go too crazy on this but I just want to give you that kind of thin layer to it. I can use my move to to push this push these guys back in okay that seems fine that seems fine so I'll do a quick I'll do a quick save on this. Then I'll go to the other side and this other piece. First of all, let me take this down to around three. My standard okay. Standard brush can start can start working our working our way on this. You see, you see this guy. You see this guy going this way. You see one also. Okay, <coughs> take down my brush size. You see one coming this way. Okay. So following that, okay, trying to make this walk then with my uh should be having this like here facing this direction should be facing this direction so now i can use my dem standard and begin to cut in some thin layers on this make, make it more closer to the to the wood maybe I should take this one step upwards then begin to add that carving in there My standard brush and build this up a bit more. Build this. Build this. 
OK. And then standard. Undo that. Do this. OK. Something also here. Need to okay. Building this up in here. Maybe okay. Um, can okay, me build build this up with my damn standard can cut in between. That's fine. Build something here. My damn standard cutting some thin layers in there. Use this to build something up here. I think this is looking good. Not bad at all. Not bad. Let me view this from a distance to kind of get a better visual on this. Okay. Not bad. Let me break off that those edges a bit more. Okay. I hit F to zoom back out. I think this is fine. We can live with this. So I'll do a quick save on this. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's fine. So now the other the other piece has some kind of pattern like this. So we're going to create an alpha to use in there. So uh, let me. Okay, I've seen this already. Let me create a new. So I'll come in here. No, console escape. Come in here. Click on the cylinder. F to frame this. So I'll change that cylinder to. Let me do an append. Append. No. Uh. Let me change this cylinder to to a plane. I look for a plane in here. Plane, plane, plane 3D. I'll delete delete my cylinder. <coughs> yeah, okay, this is my plane. Then I'll go to documents and put this by the side. Under documents, okay. Um, under under documents, I'll change this to five one two. Hmm? Let me turn this off. Five one two. Five one two. Five one two. Click on resize. Click yes. So now this plane is uh, is really weird. So let me draw. Create, create another plane. I will delete this top plane. 
control n or drag out a new plane something like this should be fine click on edit let me be sure yes 512 512 i'll hit f for my keyboard to frame this put this here then i'll subdivide this plane i want to create, create, create an alpha for this pattern so by this plane then i go to my dem standard brush my dem standard brush I'll click on x to go to symmetry then i'll drag out something like this and now that's that's too thin increase my brush size a bit more go to my lazy mouse and go under stroke lazy mouse i'll drag this up a bit then i'll drag something like so Uh, maybe too too far like this now drag out something like this okay now that's fine okay that's fine let me do let me do um do I need to then to subdivide this again i think this is fine let me go to my deformation under deformation let me do a polish by features okay that's fine so from here i'll go to let me go to standard brush under alpha under alpha i'll click on grab dock so that should create an that, that, should, that should create an alpha for me in here as you can see so now i will go back to my other projects um this i'll change my okay let me still in here let me change my document back to the default so I have that written down here already just in case so I'll change this back to so in here I have 982 I'll hit tab to go to the next one then 626 and 626 Let me do this again. Nine, eight, two, and six, two, six. I'll do a resize. Yes. Okay, then I'll go back to my other projects. Go back to this. No, I just showing. Control N, drag this out. Go to edit. So I have this guy back in here. Yeah, that's fine. So I drag this guy here. Then let me put this here. I put this on drag rectangle. Put this here. Click on the cloth. I can take down. I can take this down. And take this down. Select this letter. I would divide this. Let me do a quick save. Yes. So in here, I think. Let me reduce my brush size. Then drag out the alpha. And drag out the alpha now.
we do one more divide on this and drag out the alpha now I have a better resolution to this drag out the alpha let me go to my alpha and increase the radius radar feed the mid value should be around 50 okay that's fine and drag this out <coughs> drag this out drag this go down here I'll do the same so I'm sure you guys get the idea already go around and keep doing this around this mesh we down a bit more something like this okay go around this doesn't need to be doesn't need to be all the way perfect because when it's too perfect then there's definitely an issue with it because this is like something that is being done by hand so it needs to have some kind of human touch or human yes human touch to this uh, we're almost done Okay. Okay. We're almost there. It needs to come down a bit more. Okay. I believe we're almost there. Then you can just keep these parts cannot skip this part on the name I'll come back when I'm done so I'm done with this so this is the final look of this yes this is fine okay yeah not bad at all not bad at all so we can we can see we're officially done with the detailing aspects now all we have to do is to export our, our maps so that's various, various ways of baking out your details you can use external software or you can just do that directly from zbrush so i, I think I'm, I, I might be doing this externally by using another software so i'm going to be using mom set tool back to bake out my details or i might just grab my normal map normal map details directly from zbrush so we'll do that in the next lesson